game, huh? I want to thank you guys for all this. This weekend, this is the third year that we've done uh, this show for Sidewalk Angels Foundation. My, my wife, Marisol, who's here, and I, um, she's, she's the hot Puerto Rican runner around. We started this organization about 10 years ago to help grassroots organizations across the country get on their feet and help spread the word about advocacy and helping locally. Um, over the last 10 years, with the help of this organization, we've accomplished so much in the past, but we want to accomplish so much more, and we have so many more plans for this year and so many more like schemes that we want to put up to try and get your money to come help good, for good things. Um, and if you want to learn more about it, one of the good things is you can actually go on our site and see exactly where the money is going. Now, all the money that goes, it's a very low overhead. Everything goes exactly to these places that we wanted to go to, to all these organizations. So you can go to sidewalkangelsfoundation.org and check out what, where your money is going. But thank you guys for, for supporting. Just by doing it, you do a lot. So when I was, a, I was a kid, growing up in Florida, streets of Orlando. <laughs> but it was like, I grew up in South Carolina and Florida, so I'm in the South. I've got bleach blonde hair. I've got two earrings since I'm 14 years old. I don't know anything about cars. I don't know anything about sports. My chances of getting laid were nil. <laughs> I did not fit in anywhere. So my thing was piano. I, would, I learned to play the piano, and I would show up at parties with a Lionel Richie songbook <laughs> tucked up under my arm. Just waiting and hoping there would be a piano at the party. Because I knew eventually, and this is sad, I know, I'm letting some shit out here. I knew that eventually, the football players would get drunk and pass out. And their girlfriends would be mad at them. And I would say, oh. <laughs> What's wrong with the show? Todd pass out. Call you a bitch. Sit down here, let me talk to you for a second. <laughs> I know how you feel. Because I play piano. <laughs> oh, sounds funny, but I just can't stand <laughs> Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. Worked every time, right? So, <laughs> so a couple years ago, I'm in LA, I'm, I'm in a hotel in LA, and, uh, and Lionel Richie is in the, is in the lobby of this hotel. And I come up to him without, without thinking, you know, I introduced myself and he knew who I was, so it wasn't that awkward. And, and I was like, listen, I gotta tell you, man, full disclosure, your songs have gotten me so laid. <laughs> and he looked at me without missing a beat and he goes, me too. <laughs> That's good to know. You're not a rich you can't get laid. There's no hope for anybody. <laughs> so this is basically a long story about how I, uh, I ripped off Lionel Richie to write this song. But a 